हेलो माय डियर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर्स हवा यू ऑल व्हाट्सअप कैसे हैं सब लोग प्लीज गाइस डू जॉइन मी फास्ट कैन यू गाइस हेमी प्लीज डू लेट मी नो इफ माय ऑडियो एंड विजुअल क्वालिटी आर फाइन सो दैट वी कैन स्टार्ट दिस वंडरफुल सेशन ऑन टाइम हाय विवेक गुड गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम नमस्कार आदाब तू प्रभात गुड मॉर्निंग सत श्री अकाल असलम वालेकुम वनकम प्लीज गेट योर सेल्फ सेटल डाउन फास्ट बिकॉज टूडे आई विल बी गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग विच इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू ए लॉट इन क्लियरिंग योर गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एग्जामिनेशन एज यू ऑल आर अवेयर that gate examination is very near only 4 months are left and these 4 months are very crucial aapne pure ek saal jitni bhi padhai ki hai if you are not utilizing these 4 months judiciously with your full efficiency then you can be out of the race yes these 4 months are going to decide your career decide your future so you should prepare yourself you should plan these four months in such a manner that each and every moment become more efficient and you should utilize your energy in the positive direction with your full positivity full dedication full hard work all right Good afternoon, welcome. So, the first thing is plan. Planning is very important. Plan your four months in such a manner that you should not have single minute to waste. And if your planning is perfect, then you should uh, perform or you should. Uh, prepare according to your plan so implementation of the plan is the next thing and the third thing is performance perform you should continuously check your evaluation you should continuously check your performance through mock tests through the test series and through uh, so solving the numericals because in gate examination 90% of the question will be based on numericals numerical based questions so theoretical questions are very very less so it is very important for you to understand what are the topics which are going to be very important in your gate examination and what are the topics you can skip so today's session is all about all those important topics in each and every subject which had been asked very frequently in the previous 10 years and which are important for your gate 2024 examination 80 90% of the chances are there that gate will ask the question from the topics which i have brought for you by seeing the previous year patterns so it will help you a lot to decide which topics are important which topics are not but let me tell you one thing very clearly gate examination is always known for surprises if i am saying these are the important topics there is a chance though it is very rare but yes there we cannot deny the fact that there might be some questions 10% of the question paper will definitely carry the surprising elements so sometimes the question for an example i i do remember Uh, in fluid mechanics dimensional analysis are you guys aware about dimensional analysis we more focus on the model analysis because model analysis is more uh, frequently asked in gate examination and the objective question can be framed in dimensional analysis the solution of the question is very lengthy and it is very difficult for the gate to frame an objective question from the dimensional analysis like relig method and buckingham pi theorem for the buckingham pi theorem there are some topics where the theoretical question can be framed but in gate 
there was a question asked from the rallying method if you remember that so there are surprising elements no doubt in that but 80 90 percent of your question paper will carry the topics which are important which are generally important which had been asked previously only 10 to 15 percent of the questions may be asked from something else right so if you are aspiring to get single digit or two digit double digit rank then you should cover entire syllabus with in deep detail you cannot take a risk even for that 10 to 15 percent of the question but if you have not completed your preparation yet if you are still thinking of getting the good rank in your gate examination then this session is going to be very very important for you hi anirudh welcome good morning good morning everyone so you can raise your concern you can ask me any type of doubt regarding your preparation through the comment section so let us start our session before i start my session let me quickly introduce myself my name is chandra shekhar i hope you guys know me I am mechanical engineering graduate from IIT Delhi. I have also cleared engineering services examination. I had worked in Steel Authority of India Limited for a couple of years and also in a private consulting firm for more than two years. So my total industry experience is more than four years and the rest of my experience which is around 11 years of teaching experience I am having. I have been guiding the students for various competitive examination from the last 11 plus years. You can always connect with me through the mail id chandra.shekhar at the rate byju's, byju's exam prep.com or you can join me on the telegram mechanical by chandra shekhar the link is also there on the screen because there are already 1500 students who are part of my telegram channel and if you join a group where the like-minded people are there every one of you help each other motivate each other solve doubts resolve the doubts of each other and it is going to be beneficial for cracking your examination so it does not cost you anything but it will be helpful do join me on the telegram mechanical by chandra shekhar today there is a scholarship test going on i told you that at regular interval you should evaluate your performance whether your preparation is going in the right direction or not that is very very important right so for that you need to evaluate yourself and today is a golden opportunity to evaluate your preparation do register yourself for the scholarship test do appear for the scholarship test so two ways it is going to be important one is you will be getting an idea where do you stand among your competitors what is your level of preparation what are your weak areas etc moreover based on your performance in the scholarship test you will be able to avail the scholarship in our various paid courses okay so today the examination is conducting from 9 am to 9 pm do register and attempt this scholarship test and one more information then we will jump to the important topics which you cannot skip for gate 2024 there is a workshop free interactive workshop which is going to be conducted by rakesh talreja sir he is mtech from iisc bangalore all india rank 9 in gate examination having more than 12 years of vast experience in GATE. He will be discussing the seven important qualities a student must carry to clear the GATE examination or to become the topper of the GATE examination. So this is again free of cost. You just have to register yourself. The link to register yourself is already there in the description box. Hi Raj, welcome. Good morning. How are you? I hope everyone is in the final gear of your preparation. I hope you are all motivated, charged up to crack the gate examination with the flying colors. So the selection of the subject for your revision, 
or for your last moment revision depends on three factor number one the weightage of a particular subject in the in the examination because each and every examination is having its own pattern some of the examination ask more thermodynamics some of the examination ask more production some of the examination ask more uh, design design subjects so each and every examination is having its own pattern so according to the weight is carried by each and every subject in the examination is going to be very very important i have mentioned the weight is of the various subjects for gate exam this is the weight is or the the average marks or the range of marks which the various topics will carry that is number 1 i will come to this slide number 2 is the difficulty level of a particular subject sometimes a a subject is carrying higher weightage but it is difficult also you find it difficult so unnecessarily do, you do not have to waste that much time effort and your your energy to study the difficult subjects rather you should focus first on the subjects which are simple so that which gives you more uh, uh, positivity you will feel better confident and then you can start that subjects which you feel difficult and the third thing based on which we decide the subject is ha mai puchne wala hi tha ki out of these subject which is your toughest subject sabse tough subject kaun sa hai anurudh keh rahe hain ki anurudh is finding the fluid mechanics very tough so the toughness of the subject is an important parameter is in deciding kyunki agar aap tough subject ko choose kar le utha lenge sabse pehle so you will get demotivated and once you will get demotivated then your preparation or your focus will be out of track and you will waste a lot of time you become negative you uh, you start getting afraid of the subject so that should not happen that is why you should pick the subjects which are simple which you feel more confident to 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 get the better marks in and the third important criteria is whether a particular subject is prerequisite or the basic or the fundamental subject or it is an advanced or the application based subject for an example you cannot start your revision with the power plant engineering because power plant engineering requires the concept of basic thermodynamics similarly you cannot study the machine design it requires the concept of strength of materials engineering mechanics etc so there are subjects which are fundamental like fluid mechanics uh, basic thermodynamics strength of materials engineering mechanics these are the basic and fundamental subjects fm and production sure surendra is saying math math is very very important even if you finding it difficult then you should focus because the maths is the one subject which is carrying the fixed weightage in your gate exam right so you cannot skip that subject so i am not talking about math and general aptitude as such in this session i will be focusing more on the technical part so production definitely carries the highest weightage in in gate examination but at the same time the reality is the syllabus of production engineering is too vast so syllabus is vast as well as the uh, the marks or the weightage is also good then comes the thermal engineering so these are the two subjects they are vast in syllabus along with that they are carrying the highest weightage so you should prepare these two subjects accordingly then comes the medium weightage carrying subjects fluid mechanics strength of material and theory, theory of machines they are carrying the weightage around 7 to 9 medium weightage carrying subjects then comes the heat transfer heat transfer industrial engineering machine design and engineering mechanics so these these are the weightage of 
subject. The subjects are arranged in the decreasing order of their weightage in the gate examination. Recently, mechanics is getting more weightage. Heat transfer is also getting, sometimes it is getting more weightage, sometimes it is for less weightage. So, there is a, there is a, uh, there is a continuous uh, variation. There can be a variation, but majorly the weightage of the subjects is like this. So, let us come to our point for which we are here. That is the important topics in each and every subject which we cannot skip. I will start with the thermal engineering first, right? I will start with the thermal engineering, then I will move to the design part as well as the production engineering. So, first of all, let us talk about the thermal engineering involves the basic thermodynamic plus RAC plus IC engine plus power plant engineering. These are the topics which includes the thermal engineering. So, average weightage is 11 marks, 10.8 or 11 marks. Average weightage of thermal engineering is 11 marks. These are the reference books you can follow for the thermal engineering. One is Senjal, another is PKNR. These are beautifully written books. You can refer. The most important is your handwritten notes. Nothing can match with your handwritten notes. So, in thermodynamics and its application, the most important topic is energy interaction that is heater work and the first law of thermodynamics that is the energy conservation. So, the regarding the energy equation, the topic is very, very whatever carries the energy conservation, energy interaction is very important from your gate point of view. The next important topic is second law of thermodynamics and entropy. Second law of thermodynamics involves the efficiency of an engine, COP for a refrigerator as well as COP for a heat pump and the concept of entropy. This is again very, very important. Then comes the vapor compression cycle and psychrometric that is in RAC. In refrigeration, VC cycle is very important and in air conditioning, psychrometric, various psychrometric process, psychrometric chart is very important. New questions have been asked from this, these two topics in RAC. Then comes IC engine, auto cycle is important, diesel cycle is not that important, dual cycle is not that important, but auto cycle is very, very important for the GATE 2024 examination. And then the power plant engineering, in power plant engineering, Rankine cycle and Brayton cycle along with the regeneration, reheating and intercooling. How the efficiency gets increased, what are the parameters which increases the thermal performance of a cycle, all everything related to the Rankine and Brayton cycle is very, very important. So, these are the topics which are important for thermal engineering. I hope it is clear. Let us move to the next one, fluid mechanics. It carries the weight is around 7 to 8 marks. The books for fluid mechanics including the hydraulic machine is Unice Sengel or you can refer FM White or RK Bansal Modi and Seth Subramanyam. These are the important reference books for fluid mechanics. So, the topics which are important in fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines are one is the pipe flow. Internal flow is very, very important. The topic is lengthy. So, in internal flow, specifically laminar flow in the pipe, the various formula which we derive, the various relationship which we talk about in laminar flow through pipe and the compound pipe system, series and parallel combination of pipes. These are the two important topics in internal flow. The next one is from the kinematics. The questions are normally asked simple. Even if it is theoretical question, then the, then the question will be from the standard result. If it is a numerical question, then it will be coming from the direct formula. So, you need to remember memory is important in kinematics. In kinematics, memory is very important. 
you need to memorize the important result as well as you need to memorize the various formula so revision the multiple time revision is going to help you a lot in getting yourself comfortable with the kinematics the equation of the streamline very very frequently the questions are asked from the differential equation of the streamline in two dimension then continuity equation generalized continuity equation and continuity equation for 1d flow and the fluid acceleration these are the three important topics sometimes the question can be asked from the uh, questions have been asked from uh, rotation as well angular velocity angular deformation etc but majorly you can find the question from these areas in kinematics then the bernoulli equation ideal flow in ideal flow the questions are asked from the bernoulli equation energy equation energy conservation is very very important wherever it is used in any of the subject irrespective of the subject energy conservation momentum conservation mass conservation these basic laws of physics are very very important for your gate examination so in fluid mechanics also we talk about the energy conservation and momentum equation or newton second law there are two uh, applications of momentum equation one is pipe bend and another is impact of jet so the questions are mainly asked from the impact of jet but yes pipe bend is again important then the newton's law of viscosity in first chapter that is fluid properties it is only the viscosity which is important from your examination point of view theoretical question can be framed but mostly you will find the question 90% of the time you are going to find out the questions from the newton's law of viscosity as well as the pascal law and hydrostatic law hydrostatic law how to write the pressure equation u to manometer manometer topic manometer is again an important part of fluid mechanics iske alawa maine bataya tha dimensional analysis is not that important but model laws or various dimensionless numbers model laws are basically depending on the dimensionless numbers various model laws renold model law fraud model law are very very important normally the questions are framed from either renold model law or fraud model law or both then external flow boundary layer theory standard formula standard relations boundary layer theory the topic is simple and the questions are asked from the standard relations and in hydraulic machines normally questions are not asked from the hydraulic machines but one relation that is specific speed specific head specific discharge and specific power these are more most important because they are related with model and prototype so model and prototype questions can be asked from the model laws various dimensionless numbers or they can be asked from the turbine or pump hydraulic turbine that is the specific speed these are the various important topics in fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines clear any anybody is having anything to ask any doubt you just let me know now we will move to the heat transfer heat transfer carries around 6 to 7 marks in gate examination on an average the reference books are in cropera and david fundamentals of heat transfer then senjal pk nag for thermodynamics heat transfer and fluid mechanics you can always use the senjal and the important topics in heat transfer is conduction is covering around 60% of your syllabus conduction is carrying around 60 to 70% of your entire syllabus of heat transfer that is why conduction is the most important conduction in plane wall majorly the questions are asked in from the conduction in plane wall but rarely the question can be framed from cylindrical system as well as the spherical system as well as the 
composite system involving the combined modes of heat transfer. Sometimes two materials are joined together and the question is framed to find out the intermediate temperature. So conduction is important. Then in radiation, shape factor is one of the important parameter, radiation shape factor because there are two types of questions framed, framed from the shape factor. One is the question can be directly asked and the another one is the, the concept of shape factor is utilized in analysis of radiation by using the circuit diagram analysis of radiation. So the radiation is again important in convection. Free convection is not very important. If there is a question from the free convection, it will be directly straightforward theoretical question. But in forced convection, the question from the energy equation for the flow in a pipe, the bulk mean temperature, the question from the bulk mean temperature is again very, very important. Because convection, forced convection is related to the fluid mechanics. That is why there, there, is, there are chances, there have been asked, uh, we have seen previously that a single question, which is common data question is framed in such a way that first part of the question will be solved by using the concept of fluid mechanics like Reynold number or anything else. And the second part of the question is solved by using the concept of heat transfer. So wherever there are subjects which are involving the concept uh, or, or combined concepts or whose, which are having the concept, mixed concept from two or more subjects, that particular topic or particular subject is becoming important. In heat exchanger, very small topic, heat exchanger is very small topic. It only involves three type of equation. One is energy equation. That is first law of thermodynamics. Second is LMTD approach of analysis. The third one is effective NTU approach. So most important is LMTD. 80-90% so of the chances you will find the question from the LMTD. Then in unsteady state conduction, in unsteady conduction, again conduction, the question numerical from the lump system analysis. There are three or four formula. If you remember those formula, then you will be able to get the correct answer. We, in heat transfer, the question cannot be twisted much. So heat transfer is one of the scoring subject in your entire mechanical engineering syllabus. So lump analysis is again very important part and the method of increasing the rate of heat transfer, one is called as insulation method, which is used in radial system. Only one formula is there, K by H, critical radius of insulation. The questions are asked, it is the smallest topic in heat transfer and weightage wise or importance wise, it is very, very important. So these are the important topics in your gate examination from the subject of heat transfer all right so these are the all the topics which are having the interrelated concept thermodynamics and heat transfer are having interrelated concept energy equation heat transfer and fluid mechanics are also having the interrelated concept in the form of convection now let us move to the next subjects we will be talking about the production and design part. But I hope you guys are aware that we are starting the free series, the rank up series for GATE 2024 examination on YouTube. The series is going to be started from 3rd of October, day after tomorrow. So we will cover 500 important questions in this series, rank up series from each and every subject right so please do subscribe our baiju's youtube channel and do join this series it is going to help you a lot to develop the confidence and to improve your understanding improve your concept through questions all right so see you on third and then we will 
have be having the multiple sessions from each and every subject we will com complete the entire syllabus through questions all right next subject is industrial engineering it is carrying less weight is around five five marks these are the various books you can refer industrial engineering though it is not such a small topic but the thing the topics which are very very important they are limited most of the time 90 95 percent of the time the questions are framed from these important areas only let us talk about those important areas one is in cpm and part critical path method and crashing crashing is not very important though <laughs> but critical path in cpm is one of the important topic in industrial engineering then in forecasting exponential smoothing forecasting model only exponential smoothing is important other methods are not very important in linear programming model lpp it is the graphical method which is important simplex is not very important because simplex requires a lot of time it is very difficult to frame the objective mcq or nat type of question from the simplex method <coughs> so simplex method is having its own challenges then in inventory management eoq model economic order quantity model the first one that is most important most of the time you will find the question from the eoq model only then queuing theory there are some formulas 10 to 12 formulas the question can be solved by using those formula only no need to do lot of research or lot of in depth understanding you do not require for queuing model and most important is little's formula the next one is transportation model the questions are framed from vam vogel approximation method normally the questions are not asked from the transportation model but yes it is an important part of industrial engineering and in assignment model in assignment model hungarian method very simple method drawing the lines number of lines is equal to matrix etc so hungarian method is again an important portion or it is also expected to be asked in your gate examination so these are the various topics from the industrial engineering <clears throat> let us move to the production it is carrying the highest weight is around 15 marks similar to the math similar to the aptitude so production engineering is very very important and it is very lengthy subject so these are the books you can refer kalpak jain gauss and malik p n rao etc let us talk about the the topics which are important in production engineering the first one is welding in welding vi characteristic in arc welding is important the next one is the various types of efficiencies in welding like heat transfer efficiency melting efficiency as well as overall efficiency so the various types of efficiencies their formula how to calculate and the third one is the gas welding these three are covering the welding part these are the important topics then comes the casting in casting permeability test is important gating system design in casting design of the gating system as well as the design of the riser these are the topics covering the casting these are important topics from the casting then in metal forming rolling is important bulk metal forming that is rolling 
शीट मेटल ऑपरेशन ब्लैंकिंग पंचिंग एंड डीप ड्रॉइंग दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट मेटल फॉर्मिंग देन मेटल कटिंग मर्चेंट सर्किल इन मेटल कटिंग इकोनॉमिक्स ऑफ मशीनिंग एंड वेलोसिटी ट्राइंगल एंड शेयर एंगल दीज आर द टॉपिक्स इन मेटल कटिंग दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स इन मेटल कटिंग रेक रेक एंगल एटसेट्रा एंड द नॉन कन्वेंशनल और नॉन ट्रेडिशनल मशीनिंग ऑपरेशन लाइक ईसीएम इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल मशीनिंग एज वेल एज इलेक्ट्रिक डिस्चार्ज मशीनिंग दीज आर नॉन कन्वेंशनल इंपॉर्टेंट नॉन कन्वेंशनल मशीनिंग ऑपरेशन नेक्स्ट इज स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मेटेरियल फंडामेंटल सब्जेक्ट बेसिक सब्जेक्ट प्री रिक्विजिट टू अंडरस्टैंड द मशीन डिजाइन दीज आर द इंपॉर्टेंट रेफरेंस बुक्स इट इज कैरिंग अराउंड सेवन टू एट मार्क्स इन योर गेट एग्जामिनेशन बीसी पुनमिया एंड हिबलर आर सी हिबलर आर द रेफरेंस बुक फॉर दिस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इज स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेन डायग्राम like this <clears throat> sigma versus epsilon hooke's law etc then mohr circle in calculating the principal stresses through graphical method then compound beam sfd and bmd shear force diagram and bending moment diagram in compound beam then the principle of superposition deflection of beams principle of superposition then comes the bending and torsion equations and euler's theory of column these are the important topics in strength of materials you cannot skip if you want to get the good marks in your gate 2024 examination next is machine design is not very very important subject for your gate examination it carries only 4 to 5 marks design of machine elements by vb bandari or मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिजाइन बाय सिगले दीज आर द रेफरेंस बुक्स थ्योरी ऑफ फेलियर व्हिच कम्स इन स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल्स आल्सो व्हिच इज देयर इन मशीन डिजाइन आल्सो द वेरियस थ्योरीज ऑफ फेलियर वेयर ए पर्टिकुलर थ्योरी इज यूज्ड हाउ डू वी यूज ए थ्योरी दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस थ्योरी शेयर स्ट्रेन थ्योरी Uh, distortion energy theory etc these are the various theories which are important then in break bend break and shoe break equations and in clutches this is for the break then clutch uniform pressure theory and uniform wear theory are important in clutch then eccentric loading of type 1 and type 2 again very important topic in machine design and in case of bearing load life relations in bearing sommerfeld number and power loss calculation in bearing these are important topics in machine design right and the next one is theory of machines it is carrying more weightage compared to strength of materials and fluid and fluid mechanics because theory of machines involves the vibration also machine vibration also so the reference books are ratan if you like the indian author you can refer ss ratan if you like foreign author then you can go for rl norton these are the important books 
reference books for theory of machines. The various topics in theory of machines include degree of freedom. The first chapter in theory of machine, degree of freedom. Then crank and slotted lever mechanism. The various crank and slotted lever type mechanism. Then grass of slow. Excuse me. Next important is relative velocity. The sum of the special cases in relative velocity. And then theorem of angular velocity, that is I center approach. And in flywheel, energy equation and punching press. <clears throat> These are the important topics. In theory of machine, and if we talk about the machine vibration, primary and secondary balancing, these are in gyroscopic couple. So, for natural vibration, torque method is important. And for forced vibration, Damped vibration, transmissibility ratio, critical speed, and magnification factor. They, these are for forced vibration. These are the topics from the vibration, important topic from the vibration. So, these are the most important topic you cannot skip from the theory of machine subject. Some more from the cam and follower, types of motion of follower, then gear train, compound and reverted gear train, epicyclic method using the tabular method, epicyclic gear train and involute analysis for the gears. These are from the gears. These are important topic and from the governor, the various characteristics of the governor is important. These are the various topics from the theory of machine and the last topic, last subject which is left behind is engineering mechanics. Nowadays, engineering mechanics is getting more popularity or more weightage in your gate examination. Engineering mechanics you have already studied in your 11th standard. So, concept of physics volume 1 HC Verma you can refer for your concept of physics. It is 11th class physics only or you can go with AK Tayal, Bhavi Kati etc. The topics which are important in engineering mechanics involve friction, block problem, one block sliding over the other like this. This is to calculate the zero force mem member and the analysis of the force in various member. Trust is important. Then Lamy's theorem, equilibrium of forces. Lamy's theorem. And then the recently added topic, screw jack and wedge. It was added in 2021 only. So the questions are asked from screw jack and wedge as well. Lagrange, Lagrange equation. This is also added recently in 2021. So these are the various topics. You cannot take a chance to skip. So first of all, focus on these topics. And if you are confident, if you are comfortable with these topics, then you can, you can study from other topics as well. So I hope you got an idea about the various topics from each and every subject which can be pre which can be asked the higher probability is there 
that the question will be asked from these areas only. And if you have not started your preparation yet, if you are struggling to cover your syllabus even, then for those guys who have just started their preparation and thinking of covering the entire syllabus in four months, we are, have just started a crash course. Very, very beneficial for all of you. Those who have not done any coaching from anywhere, those who have not uh, prepared the, the syllabus once, for them, this crash course is going to be very, very beneficial in next four months only. We will be going to cover the entire syllabus. Revision of the entire syllabus will be going to happen, including the live classes along with the study material. We will provide you the quizzes to practice and mock tests. So everything will be provided as well as the study notes will also be provided, study material as well as the notes, class notes will also be provided to you. So if you are, are just in dilemma, what to do? then this is going to be the best solution. Believe me, it is not for publicity. It is not for, for business or marketing. I personally believe that wherever there is a guidance available, you should avail that. Then only your preparation will be in the next level. You can crack the examination without taking any guidance, without, without joining any institute. That is all fine. But why to take a chance if there are guidance available? So you can enroll yourself, you can contact with the, with the counselor, the number is already mentioned at the bottom. All right. So we have started heat transfer recently, only one session had happened for heat transfer. And the next session will be on Tuesday at 3 p.m. So meanwhile, you can join so that you do not miss anything. If you are thinking of joining, join it right away. It will not, uh, you will not feel disappointed after purchasing this course. So with this note, let me take your leave. I hope you enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed explaining you the various topics which are important. So all the best for your uh, next four months of preparation. Keep your momentum, keep your motivation high. Do not feel low. Keep, uh, give your 100% or more than 100% in the next four months in the revision, in the form of revision, as well as practicing more and more numerical through the mock test, test series, as well as the scholarship test. So with this note, let me take your leave. See you in the next such session. Till then, enjoy. Have a good day and Jai Hind.